Before we get into programming, I first want to show you guys how the program looks like. So first, make sure you are on degree. And yes, we are on degree. And now we're going to execute the program. Execute the apothem and perimeter. And let's say the apothem is about 9. And our perimeter is 45.2. There we go, 203.4. And now let's try our number of sides and length. And let's say we have a octagon here and the side length is six. And there we go, the right answer. Hello guys and welcome back to the Axon Files. Today we will be programming our calculator to find the area of any polygon using two different formulas. Memorizing long formulas can be difficult, which is why this program is useful for finding the area of a polygon. As always, pause the video and check out the key press history below, and let's get right into it. So our program has to do three things. Ask the user for input, implement the polygon area formula, and finally display an output. So let's begin by creating a new program, and I'm going to call this program ngon ngon area and that's because there is a seven letter constraint so i'm going to go ahead and name this program ngon area and the first thing i'm going to do is simply use this function here that's going to clear the home screen whenever this program is run and next i'm going to create something called a menu a menu and what a menu does is it's the starting point of our program and it allows the user to pick from two options, which we will be creating later. But the first thing I'm going to do inside this menu is ask a question. That question is, what, what do you have? And as you might recall, there's two ways to find the area of a polygon, one by using the apothem and perimeter, or you could use the number of sides and length. And those are the two options we'll be creating. But before I start creating my options, I need to put a comma here. And the comma is very important. And if we don't have it, then we'll run into problems whenever we're running our program. So now we can start creating option number one. And option number one is our apothem, apothem and perimeter our apothem and perimeter and another comma and this is option number one so simply just put a one there and now we can start creating option number two and option number two is using the number number and i'm going to abbreviate number here using the number of sides and length using the number of sides in length and this is option number two so a two so basically what this menu does is it asks the user for a question and now they can either choose to use the apothem and perimeter to find the area of their polygon or they can use the number of sides in length which we will create a program down here all right, so now we can start writing the program for our apothem and perimeter option. And the first thing we need to do is use a label, label one. And everything under label one will be our program for finding the area of a polygon using the apothem and perimeter. And now we need to ask the user for input. So under I slash O, ask the user for input. And the first thing we're going to ask the user is for the apothem. The apothem and now this is very important we need to store the input whatever the user said was their apothem as a letter that acts as a variable so I'm going to choose a and now the same exact thing for our perimeter so again input and we're going to ask the user for the perimeter just like that and again, we need to choose another letter for our variable. And I'm going to choose P for this program. 
So now we can start making the formula for our program. And the formula for finding the area of a polygon using the apothem and perimeter is the apothem multiplied by the perimeter divided by two. And in this case, we said our apothem was A. Our apothem was A multiplied by our perimeter, which is P, close parentheses, divided by two, divided by two. And now we're going to store this as a different variable called B. So our A times P divided by two, that is our final answer, that is our area. And the reason we stored it as another variable is it makes it easier for us to go ahead with the next step, which is to display our answer. So display, and we're simply going to display B. And the last step we need to do is we have to stop running our program after we display B so that we can start writing the program for our next option, which is the number of sides in length. All right, so we finished finding the area of the polygon using the apothem and perimeter. And now we can move on to the number of sides in length. So again, we need to use another label since we are moving on to our option number two here. So label, label two this time. And again, we have to ask for input, but this time we're going to ask the user for the number, number of, the number of sides. And end with double quotes. And now we have to pick another variable that we can use here to represent our number of sides. And I'm gonna choose N. And now the same exact thing for our side length. So again, input and ask the user for the side length, side length, just like that. And again, another variable, and I'm gonna choose S for this program. And now the formula for the area of the polygon using number of sides and side length is quite long. And it's very, very important that we use parentheses because they are a lifesaver. So open parentheses. And now the formula goes as the number of sides, so that's our n, multiplied by our side length squared. So we need to use parentheses again, side length squared, close parentheses twice. And now all of that divided by, open parentheses again, four times the tangent of 180 divided by the number of sides. So our N and close those parentheses. And now again, we're gonna store as a variable and we can choose any variable we want. So I'm gonna go with A. All right, and now the last two things we have to do is display our answer and finally stop the program. And be careful here, it does look like we are on a new line, but we have to press enter again. And now display, so display, and simply display A. And finally stop our program. And we are done. Hope you found this video helpful and you can support our channel by simply leaving a like and subscribing. Check out our other calculator program videos and see you next time on the Axon Files.